what's up it's your girl Susie I hope you're doing great I want to tell you I had a really bad sleep last night yesterday I drove up to this mountain here and there's this beautiful swing out to the field to the mountains and it looked amazing and I had a beautiful sunset and I got pretty tired because I was driving for like two hours so I decided I want to stay the night here on a hill where the wind turbines are and obviously it means there's a lot of wind here <laughs> but I was so tired I thought okay you know you're gonna stay here and then well I slept so badly because it was so windy the car was shaking all the time and this morning I woke up on the roof I heard like a flappery sound and I was like okay maybe it's the fan maybe you know the opening some wind goes in and then when I opened my door you know what I found this <laughs> my solar panel got ripped off and I thought oh no come on but you know it's not a big fit it's not a big deal I can fix it up really easily I wanted to go over my solar panel again anyways because it's been having some problems I felt like you know it's not been really charging the battery really well I just wanted to tell you that's what happened because it's so freaking windy I want to take you out though but I'm pretty sure you're not gonna hear a word of what I'm saying and I don't have a dead cat to protect the microphone from wind but I'm gonna take you out anyway so you can see where I am even even if it's just seeing right so i'm gonna wear my shoes quickly because gotta slip in and obviously oh and it's so so windy often i'm upset that i cannot fall in love but i guess this let's go swing a little and <laughs> you you're really into the camera today aren't you baby the things before I leave but now I have my panels here I just got rid of all those thermal things on the window oh god oh it's such a mess I feel like there's too many things here I need to get rid of some stuff yeah I like to keep it as clean as possible you know I hate a mess in the van I can't stand it okay I would say we drive now to that village <laughs> I don't know if you can see it but the roads are all like this really really bad and um, it's been all along the way but you see right it's like you see the roads <laughs> Basically where I've just been, that's the little village where I just walked around, but I'm on the other side now with the van. <laughs> Kenya! You're always loud. You are the cutest little boy. Right guys, that was the morning and now we're gonna go to the grocery store because I'm so hungry and I really want to get some food. <laughs> I just want to quickly kind of grab something to eat because I'm out of food. 
it's so warm in the car driving so i took off my pants and i'm just walking around now like this so we got something to drink and then we sort of need something now to eat <laughs> it's like um some sort of beans i don't know if you can see it and it's basically like a snack they give it to you in pubs and you just kind of pop it out and uh, eat it maybe i can get one yeah you can try them look see you can try them so i'm gonna get one to show you this is a typical portuguese spanish thing i've come across yet so it's like a bean and you just kind of mm, pop it out <laughs> Tastes a little bit sour. I can't do nothing with that ice cream, yogurt. No. Don't we love fresh fish? Oh, I don't know what I get. Maybe I just get make like myself like a little sandwich. I don't want it to be too complex because I still gotta drive a little bit. So maybe I'll just go for bread and a sandwich or so I can cook something up but I, I don't want to be like too complicated right now or maybe I'll take a banana too always need bananas I love bananas and I'm searching for the bread where's the bread so imagine it's like one o'clock two o'clock and we've already seen so many things already and now we're gonna have lunch and then I'm trying to find a beach because today the waves are not bad so maybe we go surfing today that could be cool we haven't done that for a while and I found the bread but I don't need that much I just got a little bit of bread and a little bit of cheese and a cucumber to make a little sandwich nothing special because you know the fuel at the supermarkets are always a little bit cheaper so I'm also going to fuel here because I'm more empty <laughs> and I also don't really have a special view it's just a parking lot so yep I'm gonna show you the view I let Penny out so he can breathe a little bit Penny hi I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna go and fuel and keep driving. I haven't been practicing the last few days. Let me try one more time. Sort of. I think the most expensive thing, then I think, is fuel. <laughs> if you drive a lot. And I did. here for surf which is pretty cool and Penny was just I hope you can hear me Penny was just playing already on the beach with some people I don't know if you can see this little tiny dog That's Penny. but I'm gonna get ready now and I'll try to take you with me while surfing but I cannot promise because I gotta see with the GoPro and stuff <laughs> sticker to glue the GoPro on my surfboard but um, it doesn't stick anymore I'm just gonna take you a little bit with me and then I'm gonna drop you on this, on this beach 
beach, but not hold the GoPro while surfing. <laughs> I just met a German girl, a German woman. Um, she was also traveling alone with a camper van. So she said she eventually is going to join me in the water. And you? Are you going to stay with those buddies? <laughs> yes. Are you coming with me? I'm gonna put you here. Look at this, guys. So beautiful. I got some waves. It was so fun. Because it's not too strong and not too high. So it's really, really and relaxing, you know? I like this kind of race. But I'm gonna go back in because I still have some energy left. So I'll see you in a little bit. Can you come? And this? It's the most beautiful part of the day. <laughs> the sunset, especially when you surf. Oh, I'm exhausted. And I'm really cold. I'm gonna go and change now. Luckily, I have the heater, so it's not that cold. It's cold, but not that cold. <laughs> but we're gonna take a little shower up there. If you can see it. That's not mine. Mir sind nämlich gestern bei den Windturbinen sind mir die Solarpanel vom Dach geflogen. Okay, ich wollte gerade sagen, was ist das eigentlich? Ja, das sind Solarpanel. Ist das ein neues Brett? Nee. War da so Wind? Ja, so muss viel ja, Wind. Ja, ja, muss ja, waren die Turbinen da. My day was full of everything. <lacht> Mountains, villages, surf, eating. And I probably could even do more if I wanted to. Because it's now eight, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. After all, I met this lady and um, she's German and she also started van life three weeks ago. I think she's in her mid 40s. It's so beautiful, you know, you just meet all kinds of people, no matter if guys or girls and no matter what age, you know, and you connect with them, even if it's just for a short period, if it's just for a little chat. I think she's gonna go now. My board is still outside. You know, I don't even bother anymore putting, like folding all the clothes. It's just too much effort. At some point, you're just gonna be like... <laughs> and I'm not just saying that. But, and normally, I'm a really clean girl when it comes to the van. But this area is really just not worth it. You know, because you gotta search and you mess it up anyway. I probably think I still should get some grocery because I got groceries for lunch but I didn't really buy anything for tonight I feel like I have really old hands for my age to be honest because I'm always outside and I'm so lazy like I take care of my face with sun protection but then I always forget my body and because I touch everything with my hands the funny thing is so many people were t telling me in the last video that they find it so unhygienic that I'm cooking with rings and I'm thinking you know I'm living in a van I even pee sometimes in plastic bottles I mean I understand their point it's just I think there are some different priorities in van life and plus I never take them off that's the thing about them it's all real silver I don't know it doesn't gross me out I didn't went to the grocery store I only had like 20 minutes left for the grocery store and I picked out the last things that I had left and some of this is a little bit old so you can just cut it off and it's like fresh we don't need to waste it right we can just use the inside of it Japanese stir fry yakisoba you know what I just went through my mind I feel like when I watch other van lifers I don't really feel like they <laughs> go through 
so many struggles as I do. I didn't tell you earlier before when I was in the mountain because I didn't want to make a big fuss about it because every time whenever I seem like I'm talking about this kind of subject people you know feel offended or they don't feel good and they feel like they need to tell me how I need to react. Basically the, almost the same thing what happened in France with that dude happened again today in that little village that I didn't really talk to anybody I was in my car and I was about to drive off and in front of me was another car and a guy was sitting there or so I didn't even really notice it so I was about to drive and then he opened the door and I turned down my window and I said yeah and he said uh, to father Portuguese and I said uh, un poco and then he said something that I really didn't understand but at the same time, while he was saying that, he was touching himself. And I was like, uh, no. And then I closed the door and drove away, you know. Maybe it's because I'm traveling solo. <laughs> it's like, what you are is what you attract, right? I'm not this kind of person. I don't know <laughs> why in such a short period, those kind of guys, like, approach me. Anyway, doesn't really all matter. I'm just saying, like, I feel like I'm going through some struggles that... I don't really get to see with other people yet so far and then the way my car breaks down all the time or the way you know this and this and this and this happen I lock myself in the laundromat I feel like there's a lot of um, things happening in my van life I'm just basically cutting some vegetable up some onion some chili and some cabbage let's turn this on and I'm just gonna make it like a really fast stir fry I am not sure if you know that uh, in China it's not a thing actually to eat raw vegetable like raw salads nowadays it is because of the globalization but normally everything gets like stir-fried real fast just you know to cook it up real quick so it looks like this nothing special really that came <laughs> that came with it woohoo then we give it another stir. Here we go. It looks actually really good. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Done. That was what? Five minutes? Seven minutes? We are going to watch the lady in the van. So we are literally watching me. But it's an old lady in the movie. I don't know if some of you know it. It's I think it's a British comedy. It tastes good. It's a bit loud. It tastes really good. Oh my god. I wouldn't have expected it because it was so fast. <laughs> oh, it's hot though. Oh, because so many of you ask how my TV works, it's just the normal TV that runs through the normal house plug and behind it. I don't have an antenna or so, it's just a USB stick where I downloaded all the mu movies before. Look at the van! I'm watching a van in a van! <laughs> it's a nice van. Your van could be a little bit more pinkish, right? She was escaping from that police. I like her already. <laughs> oh, okay. That seems a little bit more serious though. Her van needs a little bit of um, some work Monsieur done. In future, I would prefer if you didn't use my lavatory. It's a there nice van. Her van could... I would, I would pimp her van so badly. Camden Town, London. That's where it plays. I was there before. I was in London before. But not with the van. <laughs> she put holy water in the van. Holy too. Holy oil. Well, in a van, it would be far too expensive. Now, I want, I want pushing around the corner. She's so cute. She's pushing the van. <laughs> 